Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Monday and welcome back to our Celtic triads. We have another one for this week. It's three strong things in the world. These triads were compiled by John F. Wright in 1995. So it reads, three strong things in the world, a lord, a fool, and the void. So let's begin with a lord. A lord is someone who rules in one fashion or another over people. One can be a lord by title, by character, or by both. Someone who's a de facto lord merely by title and position is not going to remain in power for long, particularly once competent people abandon him. <laughs> to be lordly by character indicates having a sense of justice and fairness, leading through example and being accountable for one's acts, much more likely to remain in power for a longer period of time. But to be a lord by both title and character uh, really makes it uh, probable that that person is going to remain in power for as long as they choose to be and that they're going to have a, a success of it. Now, whether someone is leading a charge in battle or administering over daily affairs, it requires strength of will and strength of body, as well as the capacity for strategic thought. It requires practicality and self-control in order to be successful. Everything turns to complete shambles when the person in charge is weak, incompetent, or cowardly. So if someone is a lord in some sense of the term, they do need that strength. Next, we have a fool. Now, if you've ever been silly enough to argue with an idiot, which uh, if we're on the internet, so I'm pretty sure most of us are guilty, uh, then you are well aware of the strength that a fool possesses. There's no breaking down the brick wall. All you're going to find is layers of bricks, each thicker than the last, and you never seem able to break through. That's because willful stupidity cannot be cured from the outside in. There has to be an internal earthquake that causes the fool to question themselves before any headway from any outside influence can be made. And now this brings us to the void. And now I can only conclude that the void is referring to death, uh, which is the only force that is equal in strength to the force of life itself. Death does not negotiate. It cannot be evaded. All living things are subjected to its power. And acknowledging this reality saves a great deal of wear and tear on our nerves. To know that this isn't something to dread or fear, it isn't something to obsess over, it's merely in an uncompromising eventuality, one that we all must face at some point. So, that's what I got out of this week's triad. If you have some thoughts, I would love to hear about them. Please share them in the comments below or come see us at Blackbird's Brew. There's a link to join in the description box below. And as always, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.